Right, what have I got here? Well, it's a strange one today. I've been sent a flashlight for review uh, from someone called um, Old MacDonald. So I've never heard of him, but he sent me this. Now, it's weird because, I mean, he must have more money than cents or something like that anyway, because I presume it's a pack of, literally, you seem to get about 20 flashlights. I'm not particularly happy with the colour. I mean, it's a bit over the top, isn't it, for a flashlight? I prefer something sensible. I've always gone for just black or something like that, or like an army green. But I'll have a look. So let's let's see what. We, I mean, I don't know anything about these. I presume that's the lens there, but we'll have to have a look at that. So what does it say here? Um, to avoid dangerous suffocation, keep this bag away from babies and small children. Well, I will bear that in mind, but I'm more interested in the lumen output. And they're on about something or other, something else here. Uh, enjoy for longer when kept in a fridge. I don't really think you should be doing that with a flashlight. So, let's get in. Because I'm, I'm tempted to see what these flashlights are. I mean, like I say, I presume they come in a pack of 20. I can't imagine ever needing 20. Wow, that's pretty light. So I'll, I'll put the packet to the side just for the moment. So let's have a look at this. Now, I don't have any specs, so I'm just going to probably go off um, what I can observe, really. So... I mean, is that where the battery goes? What's that bit? I presume, I mean, they haven't even put a button on. Probably what this is, it's one of these rotary reactions. So if I rotorize this, mm, that doesn't work. Okay. Um, I think probably I may have to stop the review because it's not charged. So if you bear me a few seconds. Now, most of these are micro USB. So I'll try micro USB. So we'll pop that in. So I've popped in the micro USB there. I'll just pop that into a into the side there. So let's get that plugged in. Hmm. I think it's charging. I've got that in the right way around, so I don't really understand what the issue is. Um, that looks a bit dark there. I mean, why they didn't use a smooth reflector? Okay, strange. Okay, well I'll take that out for a second. Well, we'll just go off the aesthetics first. Okay, so there's there's your micro USB slot there. Now, I know I've said this before, but I will say it again. Please, can manufacturers, even strange things like this, can you stop using micro USB? The reason I keep saying that is because, yes, it's ubiquitous and you can get it everywhere, but the problem is my power bank uses um, Type-C, my phone's Type-C, my action cam's Type-C, I've got a Type-C in the car. We really need to be moving away from this, and, and not just because I don't want to carry yet another cable when I've already got a Type C on me. The other issue is, I mean, you're not going to push much juice through these. So if you if you do want onboard charging, what you really need is a Type C because you can get about two amps through that. So please move away from this, you know, this sort of stuff here. Um, so I presume this is anodized. I mean, they always say anodized, but what they really mean is paint. But I'm not particularly impressed. It looks a bit tarnished. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, let's just have a check. I just want to see how good this paint is. I see. No, no, that's a useless paint finish. That absolutely useless. I mean, that's no good. You really need something harder wearing than that. That's not going to last if you go camping or you're trying to do something tactical. Unfortunately, although if I can just make a little, because I can't see a button, so let's just make one. Eh? So right, there's. There's the button, right, so we've got a button now, but it still doesn't seem to work. That's a bit of a nuisance. I've no idea where you put the battery. I presume that it's got um, either a cell that you can't take out. In fact, hang on, let's just have a... Can I get a battery in now? No. I mean, it looks like there's a central section there where... But that's just as... Nah, it doesn't work. That's just as solid as the outside. I thought maybe that's where the cell would go. That looks like maybe a AAA, but... So, so far, useless. The anodization's rubbish. The button, I mean, let's be honest, let's call that what it is. It's non-existent. You've got the paint flaking off, you know, with a few cuts from a knife. I don't know where you put the battery, so they're not doing very well so far. Um, not good. So let's look at the emitter. I mean, to be fair, I can't even see an emitter on there. You've just got this dark patch of whatever that is. Uh, so, poor. Um, it doesn't seem to have a lens, so if light does come out there at all, which I'm highly doubting at this point, it's not looking good, then it's going to be rubbish anyway. It's just going to spill all over the place. You've got no method of directing the light. Useless. Um, I mean, look, I, I, I can even bend that. Look, look. 
You shouldn't be able to bend a flashlight in my opinion. I mean I know I had a go at the Lumen Top in pink of the EDC one because it looks like a sex toy but look at that. That looks like that looks even worse. So I'm not very happy. However, um, what I'm going to do is I shall plug this into my fast charger. So where's the micro USB? There it is. So if I plug the micro USB back in, and I'll try it on my fast charger. So I'll just plug it in. There you go. Right, so we'll give that a little bit of a, a charge there. The light isn't flashing, but I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. And then what I'll do is I shall use a bit of this. I'll just make my own button. If they're going to make silly products, I'll just make my own button. So there, and I'll just pop that in there. If in doubt, do it your bloody self. There you go. Right, so we've at least got a button now. So what I'll do is, I pre normally on these anyway, you just sort of double click for turbo. So let's give this a try. So, blood, blimey. Now that is pretty powerful, as you can see. Um, you know, that that's a, that's a pretty good light. Um, so, you know, I take back what I said before, that that is genuinely pretty good. I'm, you know, I'm not going to have too much of a go at that. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. You know, um, I can't work out how to get that back on now. I, I presume I've used all the juice. That's probably what it is. Um, I don't know whether you fill this with a special type of fuel or what. So the light output, I like. Surface, mm, poor. Oh, come on. This is useless. Look, it's coming off. Useless. Button, hit and miss battery haven't got a clue where it goes um, the emitter and reflector are useless although that as you could see the output was pretty good um, you know but uh, I had to use my own cable you get no battery with it no no instructions I mean yes you get loads in a bag but it's hardly no I'm not gonna I'm sorry but I'm not having this light outputs one thing because they've got light output I'll give it one but other than that it's useless so Useless. One out of ten. So come on, let's get outside and see some beam shots.